Good morning all, it's John from Veganism Kills. It's 9.44 a.m. Monday, March 7th. The point of today's video is vegan hypocrisy. Now, what I see is the, uh, there was a killing. It's a documentary about the death of Reagan Russell, who was killed in an accident, ran over by an 18-wheeler white protesting. When the protesters were told to leave the area and stay out of the way to the trucks because you're going to get your fucking self killed multiple times. Now, truckers who drive trucks for years know there are accidents all the time in a, a truck yard. People get hurt. Why? Because you don't have the 360 degree view as you do in a car. And, it, and you were told for months by angry truckers, angry because they knew this was going to happen, and you were just going to mess somebody's life up because you just don't know how to listen, because you're blinded by your ideology. Now, I'm sorry the lady got killed, but as an adult, she should have used her reasoning and said, hey, maybe I shouldn't be standing in the middle of traffic where it, that's frequented by 18 wheelers. But what bothers me the fucking most from all these vegan fucking hypocrites who sit there and make a half-hour documentary of a vegan activist that was killed by a moving truck is that they totally ignore the devastation their ideology is doing on children. And it's not just one child, it's multiple childs. I can go on here fucking forever. Eleven month old left severely malnourished after strict vegan diet. I bet you guys don't know this child's name, do ya? You don't know this child's name, do ya? That the husband had to take custody from the vegan nutbag of a mother he had, last name Hawk. Let's go on to the next one. Two-year-old rushed to the hospital, severely malnourished. Her name is Chiara. It's not her real name, but they used to protect the child's identity. I bet you none of you even know her fake name, do you, vegans? No, of course not. Let's go to another one. Vegan mom accused the child neglect regains custody of the, of the infant. Last name Markham. No, do, do, do you know anybody? Do you know? Do, do you even have a hint? Okay. No, they don't. How about the Australian baby? I don't know their name because the court won't release it. Do you guys even know that baby's name? Basically tortured by being fed a diet that was malnourishing, something that the Nazis did to people they put in a concentration camp. Now this baby, do you guys know his name? He's he's gone. Kamari Garigas? Do any of you vegans mention him? No. Not at all. Now how about Ice? Ice Swinton. Do any of you vegans ever mention her name? Crippled for life? By the vegan diet? No, 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 we don't mention those. How about Luis Mamagulu? She's dead. Do you vegans mention her name? Does she get a half an hour video dedicated to her in a day of mourning? No, not at all. How about Michaela Salt? That your esteemed vegan doctor killed. He doesn't even have a license to practice medicine. He's a kook. Is she going to get a half-hour documentary? No. All she's going to do is get mentioned in my video. Because you motherfuckers are hypocrites. How about baby O'Leary, the poor boy? Slowly starved to death. Like, like a Jewish person in a Nazi concentration camp. 
Is he going to get a half hour documentary? No. It's up to me, I guess, then to mention this. Because you vegans won't. What about any of these kids? The two cases out of Georgia in 2001, vegans. Any acknowledgement of them? Nope. Not at all. None. What about these three cases in three different states? What about the two that went to uh, the same hospital in Wil Wilmington, Delaware? Two children on the vegan diet rushed to the emergency room within five days of each other. Are we going to hear anything about that, vegans? Obvi obviously not, because you see, you don't care about kids. You don't care about humans. All you're, all you're doing is using propaganda to sell all your fake malnourishing bullshit. And not acknowledging the death of children slowly tortured to death by your ideology. Earned you a special place in hell. And on that, I'm out of here.